and gentlemen, this is Classic Team, and we are at the 7th Annual uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Here are the friends that I brought. So yeah, this is everyone. And and then there's uh, friend Cheese, who's behind the camera. Yep, and we're just going to be filming this. We decided to get here at ridiculous early times, so there's not much of a line. Yeah, look at this. Woohoo. It's great. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to be so, the... Uh, Oh, Adrian's supposed to be the this captain like man section? from Tin Tin. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm recording for my you channel. Stare the other person's lens. <laughs> You'll see into the future. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hope people will see Try to get uh, my heart fit, probably freaking retro on three. Let's go. Right. Hello? How you doing? So I was interested in getting a retro on three. How much are you selling it for? Sixty. Sixty? Yeah. Alright. We also got the new retro on two, we just released these. Huh? Have you heard of them? What? The retro on two plays NES and SNES only. Okay. So it's new? You mean Retron 3 is older? 
Uh, it's just older by a couple months, about half a year. And this one we just released for a lot of, for our end users. There's a lot of people that are only playing Genesis, so we went out and we catered for them. Mm. You know what? How much does this cost? This one? Yeah. It's about 40. 40? Yeah. Alright then. Nice. I would have gotten a Retron 3, but I figured, why am I going to play Genesis, Genesis game? So, I guess this is alright. Let's go. This is pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. That ball, that ball, ball too. That's awesome. Yeah. Tetris magnets. Look at that. Nice. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah, it's Star Fox. <laughs> you wanna play? No. Ah. Look me, oh Geo, me, oh Geo. <laughs> Four red buttons and two toy sticks. <laughs> <laughs> me, oh Geo, me, oh Geo. Cool red cap and name that sticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that game. Yeah, line. <laughs> it's like the greatest game ever. Look at this. Look at this. This game is so rare. Oh! This game. Oh my god, this game is so amazing. <laughs> I just. I, I actually touched the line. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my mind is blown. Oh! <laughs> god. Dude. Yeah, I noticed. Oh. This is all the super. Mario Brothers. Come on, figure. How oh, cool. Huh. Wonder if I should get a post here. Earth Pounds. Oh, Castlevania. Oh, uh, my two more. Sorry, sorry. Where the freak does Sam go? Huh? He's quick. Sam is quick, man. Didn't see him go. Alright, we have a mission. We're trying to find Sam. Onward. Victory. Maybe he's down here. Arcade covers. These are t shirts. <laughs> oh, sinister. Nice. 
Yo, Sam. Sam, have you found clone oil yet? Yeah, we kind of want to meet you up because we found uh, Gauntlet. Was it Dar Gauntlet Dark, Dark Legacy. Legends? Dark Legacy. I keep us. You know Gauntlet. Gauntlet Dark Dark Legends. Legacy. <laughs> I keep on saying that. Legacy. Dark leggings. Dark leggings. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to remember that. Dark leggings. Then I'll know. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. The game we played. At remember the control? game with the arcade at Ground Control. Oh, we didn't find a tool. No, we found Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, we want to meet up with you. Come on. What's up? Let's buy the game. I know it was in the middle section. Here. Cool. $10. I can see my house from here. Here. Here you go. Thank you. Do you even have a PS2? Nope. Black Luigi. Let's go. Ah, there. Still beer here. Huh? There's still beer here. <laughs> or something. Somebody has it somewhere. I still can't find the game I'm looking for. Well, we got the game. We got Dark, uh, you got Dark Legacy. Oh. I'm going to keep it. Okay. Yeah. Little cross. Hi, Sam. PS3 is not backwards compatible. Backwards compatible to like PlayStation 2? No. Oh. So in order to play PS1 and 2 games on your PS3, you know, you I did see some PS1 games compatible. over there. Let's go take a look. I already have gone through. I think all these booths now. Seriously. Yeah. All of them. All of them. Oh. 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 Uh, if, 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 if you sign those, then you get the first chance to win. Uh, Sam, do you feel the t-shirt? I saw the same games. It's a good looking beard. Looks like it took a long time to grow that. <laughs> no, I actually didn't take any time at all. <laughs> Some people just get lucky, it just comes naturally. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to find a PS1 game. I don't know if you could tell me if you have it or not, but I figure I'd ask. It's called Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. Um, I have these are all PlayStation 2 half, games. At least half of the people here, and nobody can tell me that they have it, and I can't find it. I think wait, I think you're going to have to find it, but let me ask if she has uh, everything on her phone. Okay. Oh! What? That Kamio Photo Fence on PS. What the heck? Not only that, but it apparently it's pretty rare. Huh. Look at that price. That's not yeah. even with the case. No. Because yeah, he's Nido, and also Eric can't be here. Yep. D Hero can't be here because he's at college. Yeah. That. Yeah, it's too bad. That's would have too. like it would have been great if these guys could have come. <coughs> yeah, but in, you know, instead we got James yep. and you, which is always good. Man. Ooh. That is so tempting. Uh, we need to read the plot. Thirty-five bucks for a box copy of it. Yeah. 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 Oh. So that right there is, I, I believe it was a pre-order bonus thing. Yes, I have that. I got that from uh, uh, Toys R Us. 
Yeah. It comes with a coin. Is a coin in there? Take a look at the coins in there. It'd be kind of funny if it didn't have the coin. Yeah. Well, it might not have it. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> As I thought. It doesn't no even coin. have no. the coin. Yeah, I have that bonus. I remember getting it quite a while ago. Uh, is it pretty cool looking? Yeah, it is. It's a nice collectible. Dude, tons of manuals. Like. Wow. I, have I just bought a manual for Star Fox because. Oh, here we go. Oh, you found it. Yeah. Um, so I saw a uh, NES over there for like. They say, yeah, how, how much was the NES over there? Like 30? 30 bucks. Yeah. I'm not interested in the NES for 30 bucks when I got an NES and a Super NES for only $40. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, should, should I buy it? Because it seems like a good price. Uh, if you want to. I really do want So here's another SNES. It's in pretty good condition. And ports for 40. Uh. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know if you're ever going to find one for less than 40. Yeah, th there was the NES. There's one over here, actually, 430 and 35, but they're yellow. Yeah. So you'd have to deal with the whole ugly color. Would it be worth yeah. it? As long as it's working. I mean, it's all about functionality, right? Hey. Oh. Wow, it's funny that this one's more expensive, yet this one's more in shape. Uh, I think it's because this is more uniform. Well, and also, uh, it's just right here. Uh, but that leaves you money to buy again. Wow. It's up to you. I don't know, a $30 dollar S. This seems like so many years ago. Look how big that is. Yeah, seriously. The game's not even that big. <laughs> Compared to that book. It probably took more work Careful, to make that buddy. book than it did to make the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, CJ, tell me what you think of the expo so far. Uh, the expo's been pretty fun. It's a lot bigger. Yeah. And there's a lot more people. Now, has it been fun for you as a whole? Yeah, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I've found it pretty exciting too. It's my first time. Yeah, that's a pretty nice button too. Yeah. Paper Mario. Yeah. Paper Mario for the win. We need to find Eric his games, and we also need to find my dad. Oh, uh, like what? Uh, there you are. Yeah, dad just called and told me what you found. Yep. No sign yeah, yeah. of B52 or. B-52, as far as I can tell, it's not really It is. It is? Well, the guys I talked to, they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be both. And someone looked it up. Okay, well, we gotta find those games. Yeah, yeah let's go. Wow. Hmm. Tons of uh, NES. Good here. We're just looking for games, yeah. Okay, so we have to find some Game Boy games. Do they throw in? I know the place that has Link's Awakening, just Link's Awakening, it's 10 bucks. And then there's uh, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I think we just need to go to Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to find Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so we need to Nothing? Uh, the way that the game functions. Alright. They're two similar games, but they work in different ways. So what do I understand? So I'm gonna actually go over there and probably get just get him normal links away. Did anybody know? Okay, now guys. I don't see my face. You don't want to see your face. No. Okay, well, what do you guys think of the expo? Um It was an expo. Awesome. It was awesome, yeah. So you had a fun time? Yeah. A real fun time? Yes. Even more real. It was More so real. real. We had much real. cheese and many spatulas. Yeah. Is that all you got to say? 
So it was a great expo, huh? Yeah. I great expo. Huh? It was awesome. Yeah, you got a shirt. I didn't get a shirt. Best, I ran out of money. The best part of it. You ran out of money. Yeah, I did. So what do you think? It was fun, but I was a little disappointed I didn't find the game that I really wanted to get. After all these years. Yeah, so I'm probably just gonna have to buy it online. But I did get some things I did want, so it wasn't a complete waste. And I still had some fun. I had a lot of fun. So. And, and he already said it earlier, but if you want to say it again. It was, it was, it was pretty fun. I got Super Nintendo, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Yes, all of us. Happy campers. All right, so now we're gonna talk about all the games we got, and I guess I'll start first. Um, well, not just games, I got some merchandise too, like buttons, as you see here, my Vertigo button. That's just one of the few buttons of 50 that I got that day. Just a few. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> Sound like I'm getting a thousand more, but. You will be getting a thousand more. You will get boxes and boxes of them once you start buying them. You will never stop. Yep. Yeah, okay. So like I said earlier, I got all, well, most of the Dragon Warrior series. Bolson and Thress. Jose and Thress. Not four. I really wanted four. Uh, what else? So I got Super Mario World, and I also got Yoshi's Island. Yeah! And one of the big ones, Earthbound. Oh, nice. Yep. And I can't really think of anything else that I got. Oh yeah, I got Paperboy, which I spend a little too much for, and it doesn't even work on my Retron 2. Oh boy. So Speaking I ended up you selling did end up, You did buy a Retron 2. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I did buy that. <laughs> it was the first thing I bought. It looked like those things went by pretty quickly. Everybody bought those, it seems, yeah. Hmm. Did I get anything else? Uh, I got Gauntlet, Dark Legacy. There were some other games, but I don't remember them very well. Because we only got to see yeah. them for like a second apiece. You were yep. like, Let's Oh yeah, I got I got Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right! That one's a good oh, one. Nice. Best game ever. And, 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 oh, and, 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 and I think he's going to rack his brain for the next five minutes. I got a couple more RPGs for... And yes. Five yeah. Later. I don't. I think I'm gonna have to get you into some of the SNES games because yeah, they're really a bit more spendy. But oh man, there's some great stuff there. Um. But anyway. <laughs> okay, CJ, you ready? Yep. LVPB. Yo. Yo. Um. I, I was actually looking for like a lot of games, but then I realized I don't have a game system. <laughs> So, um, uh, I, I, how, how much did I have? Like 45, something like yeah, that? Yeah, like 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I didn't really have a lot of money. So, I did buy, uh, NES, I mean, Super NES. And, uh, I did have, uh, two, uh, Super NES games because, you know, my dad and me used to play, uh, you know, really old console games. So, um, there was Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars and, uh, Joe and Mac 2, uh, Lost in the Tropics, as you can see here in some Ish. kind of moving fashion. I like having you move it closer. Move it closer so everybody can see it. That's blurry. That's blurry. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get it out of the way. Get it out. Get Nobody away. likes them. Except everybody. Um, yeah. No so, um, Sam also had gotten me. Insert my games. Uh, uh, had gotten me a uh, button of Mario, because I love Mario. And um, uh, and then uh, there was a button from uh, Watch Out for Fireballs. Yeah, we got that for free. Yeah. And uh, then that was about it. Okay, nice. And James, Rowdy Sun. Well, I came with fifteen dollars, so I borrowed five dollars of the cameraman, and I got a uh, a League of Legends shirt. A which, singed shirt. Yeah, singed. Shocker. I love him. So cool. Oh, um, <laughs> that's that's about it. That's about it. When are you playing? I got. Sorry. I also got uh, friendships and experience. And he also 
conjoined with Adrian to buy Gauntlet Legends. Ah, uh, yes. He, no, it's not really conjoined. What you gave really, me the idea. It's not really his, but he he pointed it out. And yeah, then it's mine. Cameraman yeah. actually. You can only play it, it whenever you. Well, you can't come to my house. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we will find a way. Or there's a will. So, there's a person named Will. Probably. Anyway. Okay. Now, tell me about the games you got. I wasn't there. You still got some games, did you? Who oh, is yeah. this guy? Who is I don't know him? him. We don't know. Well, I got okay. college. Uh, it's right. a random I stranger. I wanted to go, but I got college, so I just, I just told Sam, Sam, get me this game. This Rattata is in the top percentage. And then I proceeded to lose the other $10 that he lent me. Link's yeah. Awakening. Yep, Link's Awakening. Best game ever. Well, one of the best games ever. One of the best Zelda games of all time. Of all time. But this is not the DX version. This is just the Game Boy version. The one... The Brick, like for That's not. Oh no, I don't have color. Exactly. Oh, oh, no. oh. Guys, guys. What was yeah. it for? Ten dollars? Yeah, right. Yeah, it was a ten dollar game. Sweet. I saw Oracle of Ages there, not Seasons, but they wanted like eighteen bucks for it. D what? Yeah. Wow, the crazy. So crazy. anyway. So last but not least, Sam. Hi, I did buy games. I am my games. Anyway. I am. What you are I? games. My games. I am. I bought myself. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, uh, games that I bought, well, I got Donkey Kong Land 3 for the Game Boy, uh, Warrior Land 3 for the Game Boy Color, and Warrior Land 4 for the Game Boy Advance, just to awesome. start off my Game Boy collection, and there were some great games for it anyway, so. Uh, a couple other things I got, Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo, uh, Mario Party okay. 2 for the Nintendo 64, okay. and, uh, I got five buttons, and, uh, what else? I think that about, no, I got a Sega Genesis Model 2 with a 32X and Star Wars Arcade, boxed. And I soon, uh, I will soon acquire Knuckles Chaotix as well. So, the whole reason and only reason why I bought a 32X. Anyway, so that's... And that's it. That's me. And, that, and now we move yeah, on to the review. Hi, we're now at my house after the show, actually like a week after. Um, and we came back together to uh, kind of have a consensus about our thoughts on the show. Since we only went Saturday, um, we don't have any opinions on Sunday. Um, but other than that, um, so I think the first thing we're going to start off with is uh, entry. Uh, thoughts on entry? Was it like difficult, annoying, hard? It took um, about five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and because, because we were there so early, it was not a pain in the butt at all um, to get in. So, and they had two lines. Personally, I think they should have had three lines for getting your tickets for the line. Um, but eh. because we were early enough, we it wasn't much of a problem really. The only thing that was annoying was the wait time, but that was expected. I mean, we were getting we went out there really early, and they let us in almost at nine, just a little past it. Um, that was my opinions. I thought that they did a fairly good job maintaining the crowd. They even had that guy with the microphone. Hey! Swag bag! Swag swag! Anyway, uh, opinions, uh, baghead. Baghead? Swag bag. Uh, slash yeah. <laughs> slash swag cheese. Bag. Pretty much. Cheese the swag bag. Yeah, so the wait wasn't too bad. I mean, I actually, I didn't expect to get there so early. Like, there wasn't that many people at all. When we got there, I was only the second person with, like, costume. Yeah. yeah. Captain Ahab. This is not, not his costume. That had off. I went to the expo the wrong day. It was be Sunday. There was the cosplay council. Yeah. So. But still, he had fun wearing a costume. So. And the it bag was pretty cool. Now, now, now a bag. Now a bag. So. Name. CJ. Um. MLPBB. Yeah, let's go with that. Um. It, it was re it was relatively short. Um, it wasn't exactly five seconds, but it, it was it was yeah more like uh, 20, 20 minutes give or take to get in. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Once we got into the oh, main room, I, I, I thought we were talking about like actual entry into the show. Well, I mean both, like oh, how they handled yeah, how they handled the people going into the show yeah. and also distributing tickets and all that. We, we wait 10 minutes. The line is just like a mile long. It's just like, everybody, oh my god. It's like everybody decided to get there 30 minutes before, <laughs> rather than earlier than that. Because it was completely quiet until like 8.30, and then suddenly there was this giant line. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, and there was some great cosplays in the line, but anyway. Yeah. 
Links. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. I mean, we got there an hour earlier. Uh, an hour yeah, earlier. we got there, what, 7.30? <laughs> yeah, we were basically yeah. second in line. So <laughs> when it opened up, we got in there basically immediately after they opened it up. And actually getting in took about five to 10 seconds. They're like, do you have an early entry pass? You show it to them. They're like, okay, go. Here's your swag bag. Here's bag. <laughs> they had like Bye. four or five people at the ta with tables just lined up with bags. So they were prepared, I'd say. Yeah. Somebody finally used the word swag in the correct term. Yes, thank God. Yeah, one of those guys liked my mustache. They really, I mean, my beard. <laughs> my, beard. <laughs> my beard. You sure have a nice mustache. <laughs> you, you definitely have a nice beard right here. Yeah, this is. Well, this is the best mustache right here. My amazing mustache. My beard. Oh. The great mystery man. Okay, so next thing to judge is the retailers. This is actually the biggest topic uh, because they took up the most amount of space, I think. Um, general opinion is uh, retailers were generally pretty nice. They had some good selection. They brought their best stuff to the show. Uh, some of them, it seems like they just brought whatever they could muster and just kind of dumped it there and said, hey, here you go, buy stuff. Uh, I found some of the prices to be reasonable. There were some guys selling things for really nice prices, and there were some people who were just ridiculous prices. Uh, some nice prices I can give off the top of my head is I saw Mega Man X, uh, which is, I think, a $20 game, and I got it for $14. Bucks. And uh, I did see some other games there that were... Uh, cheaper than what you'd see them on eBay, for example. But then there were other stores like, um, I don't know the name of the store, but uh, there's a game I wanted called Sparkster, and it's generally a $30 game on eBay, but uh, they were asking 60 for it. And uh, it was kind of like the whole thing last year where I saw Snatcher for 250 bucks. Like, yes, it's like a $150 game, but it's not 250 <laughs> Just because it's rare doesn't mean it's it, it can go up 100 bucks more. Like, he, there's a limit for people, but anyway, generally overall, I thought the retailers themselves were had a nice selection. Um, just didn't have what I was looking for. <laughs> Klonoa, I will never get to own you. <laughs> anyway, next. So yeah, so well, I'm relatively new to all this retro gaming stuff, so I kind of questioned a couple things. I didn't really care too much about the prices. Some of the things might have been a little bit expensive. But I do have to find out more about that. But mostly what I was looking for, or the things I got the most of, was the Dragon Warrior series. I found the second one and the third one and the fourth one, but I didn't have enough money then. We, well, you know, we we saw games we wanted and we were like, oh, money, oh, money, we grab games. And then we realized, oh, wait. Yep. Oh, wait. What, well, the word, the, no the thing about it was, is he was actually offering a pretty decent price on it, too, so, uh. Yeah. You'll get it again one day. You'll find it, and you'll be like, "Oh, here we go." One, one day. day he shall be the chosen one. One day. But you got three of them to work on. But no, you don't have a bag on your head. He actually, yeah. he has a bag on his head, and he has like a whole. He has a start of a nice collection. Um, and he has Sans Super Nintendo, including his head. Oh yeah, and I also got the Retron Two. I could have got the Retron Three, but I decided I wouldn't really play a main Genesis game. So. Yeah. And I don't blame him. There wasn't a whole lot of. RPGs on the Genesis that were particularly yeah. noteworthy. I know of Fantasy Star, yeah, that's that. about yeah. it. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. That's the only one I know of that people like to so reference. Chrono Trigger was on the SNES. Yeah. And yep. then Mario's RPGs are obviously on the SNES. <laughs> yep. No, it's on the Genesis. And, and, all <laughs> the, final, and the Final <laughs> Fantasies were all on SNES or NES. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was, I can't. I know there was a homebrew RPG that came out recently that looks pretty cool, but it's like, because it's homebrew, it costs a lot of money. So, and that, it would have been like a hundred buck game, and... Uh, That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, lots of moodles. Anyway, so, uh, overall, what did you think of the retailers themselves? Like, did you think they were being fair with you? Well, I guess, I think, yeah. I don't really have much to say about that, because I don't really know much about this. Well, you can always, you can still go like, oh, how dare they charge a hundred dollars for this silly little game? Well, I didn't really feel like that. <laughs> Saying anything about that. I mean, I guess since you know so little about the like the old school yep. stuff, you anymore. can't really go, oh, I know that's ridiculous price for that Which game. Which is why so. I didn't really say anything. I just whatever. Okay, CJ or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just Use, insert username here. <laughs> 
Cut it out and go, M L P P B. <laughs> oh man, I'm there. Um, alright. So, uh, I, I remember uh, trying to find, like, uh, SNES or just an NES, like, um, you know, just around there for a good price. Uh, the lowest I found was uh, 30 bucks. And um, by the time I had decided to buy it, they ran out. <laughs> they only had one sitting there. It was a little, it had yellowed a little bit, but That's looked like mean. a unit you could use. Yeah, he, he said they had uh, three in stock. And then, like, people kept buying them. And they would have uh, more in stock tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. really helpful. But tomorrow we won't <laughs> be at. Yeah. Thanks, guys. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, See, we need an answer. <laughs> Cameraman? <laughs> anyway. How dare you break our viewers' of hurt? Um, I do, I, I do, I do want to say that I think <laughs> last year the economy wasn't as bad game-wise as it is now because now it was almost impossible to find an NES yeah. that was 30 bucks. Um, whereas last year, my dad easily found one for 30 bucks and he bought it, actually. And it even came with, like, the Zapper and Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and... So... Yeah, probably gets a lot. I think we had a harder time finding the prices we were thinking we were gonna get from last year yeah. at this show. You did end up getting some stuff though. It was not on camera though, so you should probably mention what you yeah, ended up. Camera. Oh, yeah. Um, I I got a uh, button that Sam had gotten me because it was like. Uh, Actually, maybe we should just go through later and say what we got. Yeah. 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 We'll we'll do that later. Uh, <laughs> but you should at least give your opinions on. Retailers. Uh, the prices weren't like, like unacceptable, but they were a bit high. Cause like I can really. To be honest, that guy you were asking Mario World for like a buck fifty. I bet if you asked like if you gave him three bucks for it, he probably would have said yes. They're, the games are so common that you probably could have talked him into three or four dollars on that game. But I didn't have three or four dollars. Well, you didn't even have that much. So <laughs> I, I I had like one forty one. That was that was the max price I could go. Cause that's all I have. <laughs> Well, I, I can get you, I can connect you with some people who will be able to get you those games pretty cheap. Right, black black market. Market. The, camera fuse. <laughs> the black market. But yeah, you, yeah. They're gonna give me Super Mario World now. <laughs> <laughs> or else this bullet might have. <laughs> Somebody, uh, you know, it's you, in your thank pocket. Thank goodness I brought my bulletproof vest. You're gonna give me Super Mario World. <laughs> and you're gonna like it! <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna pay you extra for that gas. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, anyway, lay side up, being ready. Okay. Your turn. Um. So just the retailers. Yeah. Well, we're gonna move on to other stuff. Uh. I didn't really have all that much uh, interaction with the retailers because I had about. $15 to spend, and I spent $20. <laughs> <laughs> you borrowed five. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Hey, man. You kind of got a game, sort of. Not really, but... It's, it's a, oh, it's yeah, a, yeah. a, a game-related yeah. thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, I mean uh, you did get a game, sort of, but it's not really yours, but you did get one. Yeah, you talked about... Outlet. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We should play that game for fun. We will. I think we should not even record it, just for fun. Just oh, yeah. sit down and play Gauntlet. Definitely. But Definitely. that will be later. You guys what? you guys won't even know it happened. What up the viewers? <laughs> think of the viewers, Deb! <laughs> then I'm gonna get tons of comments. Play Gauntlet! No! Think of the viewers! My game's 19. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, but yeah, the, with the retailers that I did uh, interact with, they were all fairly nice. Um, nobody was particularly uh, rude. Um, there were some prices that I definitely wouldn't pay for the amount that they were giving, I'm but that's that. just because I wouldn't particularly enjoy those games. <laughs> yeah, it was more of like the collector's prices more than like actual game gamer game price. Wise, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, there was one game, really fast, I just want to say, there was one game I really wanted to get at the show, because it only goes for, like, less than a dollar on eBay, called uh, Pro Pinball, Big Race USA for the PS1. Guess what? Everybody was charging, like, six or seven dollars for it. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I could pay less online. So I didn't buy it, but, oh well. 
Yeah, that was one thing that was a little high price. Oh. Anyway, so that was uh, the uh, marketplace. Uh, next, we move on to the Megacade. Uh, I didn't actually spend a lot of time in the Megacade. Uh, I did see some footage that we that uh, uh, Cheese was nice enough to record for us. Oh, it was good enough for you. Um, it was uh, yeah. You did a good panorama most of the time. So uh, I did terribly job. Now it was only on the last the last row of games. You kept going back and forth, yep. and I had to remove that part. But everything else was good. But anyway. <laughs> Point being, it looked like they had a really nice selection. I only got to like enjoy a little bit of it because I only got to like look at them. I spent so much time worrying over the games I wanted to get over the marketplace that I didn't really get to spend a lot of time at the arcade at all, which I really kind of regret because they had some nice games I wanted to play with you guys. But I mean, whatever. It was like so empty when we got in, you know. Well, the Mega Cave. No, I mean like when we got in early. Oh, oh yeah. Was yeah. There because if I started playing games, I was just. You know, well, fun. I was freaking out because I was like, I, yeah, was I wanted to play some yeah. games, but I was all like, like nah. I, well, I was like, well, first I wanted to visit some people that I knew, and then I wanted to go find games that I really wanted because I figured somebody would go snatch it up. Because like Klonoa, I've been to the show now three years in a row, and the game hasn't shown up any year that I've tried to find it. So I was like, well, if it's gonna be here, it's gonna like go fast because yeah. it doesn't show up often. So I was. Going crazy trying to find it, and of course, uh, that ended in failure. If you have Klonoa, that's Sam will buy it. end of the day. If you have Klonoa, <laughs> let me know, and I and I will give you my address, and then I will pay you handsomely. Yeah. If I send have it money. to one twenty fourth Street, <laughs> send in it New to New Jersey, New Jersey, <laughs> five eight seven six three zero oh, nine. Yeah, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> Numbers. Anyway, song. So, Mega K, what was your... You got to play a little bit. Yes, I did. Played some uh, pinball games. I suck at pinball. And I really didn't really get to play any of the arcade games, like the classic ones. I really wanted to play, what's that, Space something? Uh, space Invaders? No, there were a lot of space arcade games. The keyboard game with the number inputs. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know that one. Yeah. Number I was there with you, yes, but it didn't work. Space something... Yeah. Space War? Space War. You can't play that one because there was only like 700 manufactured and it was the very first arcade game ever made. Oh. Yeah. Go look at that. Dang. So, yeah. It was running a little bit, but... They, well, they, they run them so you can see the game because okay. a lot of people don't actually get to see the game. Yeah, so that was pretty amazing. But you can't... That's the only thing I want to play. You can't, can't play. play it. <laughs> Cannot play. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. They disable those that you can play. Uh... Anything else you saw? I know a lot of the same stuff I might have seen at like uh, Ground Control that one time I went there. Ground Control's nice. Yep. Yeah, we didn't get to stop by there this year because they weren't so really on the much dub stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the music they were playing during the oh, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had some great music. They drowned out the DJ. <laughs> they were playing dub stuff at a at, at, um, at uh, Ground right. Control. Or, yeah, and it drowned out the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Like towards the beginning of the show? Oh. Uh, CJ, you were actually in the Mega Cade for a little bit. Um, yeah, towards the end. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, me and Lady Roding Sun and Lay Cheese, um, were playing, uh, what was it? Bomberman. It was, uh, yeah. I don't know the yeah, exact Bomberman. title, it's Bomberman for the Saturn, which is notorious for being one of the best party games of all time, also being very expensive to own. <laughs> And uh, of course, you know, I, I, I owned people <laughs> and got my ass kicked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was a fair share of, uh, yeah. <laughs> of ass kickings and ass dealings. <laughs> <laughs> you said something I didn't want to say, but there you go. Um, okay, so there, there, there was also uh, Mario Kart, which uh, I recorded for these two who played. And... Um, yeah, I hate being a cameraman. <laughs> My hands hurt. Never again. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I remember there were a lot of, like, old games in the Mega Cave. Um, I didn't really play any because I was, you know, trying to look for an NES and a Super NES because I don't have one. It's funny, neither of us had a lot of success at the show. You ended up actually finding what you wanted. Yeah. I did too, but like, it was kind of like hit and miss. Like you got it, but it wasn't the best. Like, yeah. you kind of wished you got the better model that was in better condition. Oh well. Well, I mean, mine, mine's not yellow. It, it looks fine. Yeah. And it's not cracked. 
So I'm I'm perfectly fine with it, to be honest. I mean, it plays. But my you didn't games. get Mario World. Yeah. Shucks, darn that it! That would have been nice. You've only taken a dollar and what it was it? One forty-one cents. <laughs> one forty-one. Uh, anyway, probably shouldn't have spent so much money on food. <laughs> I'm the glutton. Uh, oh, it doesn't help. We got stuck to Burger King, but that's for later. Uh, yeah, I'm actually glad that I stayed you know. while you guys just wouldn't move yourselves over. I ended up getting the seesaw to the table at least. Oh, we'll talk about that in a oh, little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. It's, it's uh, Running Sun's turn. Uh, so, after I spent about five minutes finding what I wanted, uh, I spent the majority of the time in the Mega Cave. And, uh, He's the only one who can actually speak about what was there. <laughs> That's why we couldn't find you the whole time. You were way over there, and we're all like, where is he? Oh, I thought you guys were not at I was. Well, time I was wondering where CJ and you were. Yeah, he was following me around half the time. Yeah. Actually, most of the time. Yeah. But, uh... Stamp, slow down. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, interesting things there. For some reason, they had Xboxes there, because those are retro, right? Um, <laughs> um, they are considered to some people, because they're last gen. And in fact, you actually got an Xbox 360 game at last year's uh, Halo 3 ODST. Ah, uh, yeah. So, we've seen ret modern games there too, but it's really uncommon. Like, it's usually, like I said before, it's the company that just hodgepodges whatever they want and brings it and says, here, buy it. All right. So, buy our stuff. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there were Xboxes there. I didn't really get to play with them much because I'm not interested. Um, there were GameCubes there, and uh, there was one particular game that was very interesting. It was this. Um, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I got gosh, it. What, are, what, what are those drums called? Taiko. Taiko uh, drum. It was a Taiko yeah. drum game? Taiko yeah. drumming game. A rhythm game. You know? I actually yeah. couldn't keep that footage because the screen, you were too dark. The screen yeah. made the camera That's go off focus. I know. That game looked like Guitar Hero but with drums. It's quite like, funny. But anyway. Yeah, that was pretty fun. In Japan then, it's popular. It is a popular game in Japan. Really popular. Oh? oh. Yeah. I would What's imagine so. Anyway? Uh, maybe the cameraman would know. I would do I, know, I know this. Uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but uh, Let's call it Drum, drum Revolution. Uh, um, I spent a lot of time playing the pinball machines. There were a majority of them. Uh, like a, the majority of them had very unresponsive flippers. It was kind of saddening because the ball would go, it would roll down, and then you would hit it, and it would go back up at the same speed. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, to make up for it, it had like all of this empty space around the flippers, so that like if you didn't if you didn't hit it at the sweet spot, it would just go to the side and you roll off it. It was a little saddening, but there were a couple of good pinball machines. Um, then I spent the majority of the rest of the time in there playing N64 games, but uh, that was because I hadn't played Super Mario 64 in a while, and I wanted to get, <laughs> I wanted to get some time in for that. Yeah, reform your opinions of the game, since it's been a while. I still love it. It's, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm it's, it's still awesome. It's still one of my favorite Mario games. You, you can't really say anything bad about the game, it's just so fun. Eh. It looks old. There, there are things great. Pe there are things people can complain about about the game, but we'll talk about it. It looks really old, but it's. It looks old. Some of the camera so the mechanics are a little eh. Some of the controls oh, no, can be no, a little no, wonky. No, but yeah, like the, the side uh, jump. But whatever. Still yeah. finding faults. I still I still find it to be an amazing game. So whatever. Anyway. Yeah. I topics. Uh, Hot tropics. Uh, and then I at the oh, end we played like... the Bomberman Saturn. Yeah. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> And then it's last topic is last the time. panels. Now, we didn't really get to see a lot of the panels thanks to Burger King being a complete dork and deciding to, like, be the slowest restaurant I have ever been to in my entire life. Like, I ordered a freaking onion ring and it took me ten minutes. Onion ring? Ten minutes! Yeah. I ordered a medium onion ring and it took them that long. One onion ring? Yes. Yeah. Not one onion ring. I mean, like, one order of medium-sized oh. onion rings. So, one onion ring, ten minutes. <laughs> they, were, they really take their time on their food. So, so be, because they decided to take their time, we ended up missing the RetroWare TV panel, which I really wanted to be to. Well, the majority of it, anyway. Uh, yeah, we saw the last, I think, ten minutes. <laughs> Great. Which is pretty Woo! cool. Woo! Um, Cheese actually had to see seven. half of it, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, something. So, uh, we ended up just buying the DVD, and I'll probably just splice that into the, the video. Okay. Oh, darn it, so Right I... now! <laughs> and then I just... <laughs> cut out. Oh. Sorry for the quick cut! <laughs> Blinds Sorry. and all that. 
Well, Sound like. Anyway, so panel, they actually did a pretty good job uh, with the panels. They had nice big rooms. They had a great accommodations for the people speaking. Um, in general, overall, they just did a much better job than they did last year. Because last year it was like in the same room as the rest of the show, and they just oh. had covers around it. And uh, you could hear everything going on around you. Them. And it just sucked. But um, I think, and, and the panel we went to was pretty decent for what I heard. It was pretty funny. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, they did a good job with panel. Um, jeez. My opinion is about the same. I was there for a bit. I was holding the camera up the whole time. And then I had a little bit of a coughing fit, so I had to excuse myself. <laughs> so, yeah. That's about it. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Let's see, it's uh, MLPBB's uh. turn. Yeah. Uh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you guys can do it so much better than I can. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go. Hi. Um. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I forget what to say. Okay, you panel. Up there and you forget what to say. Yes. What is, did you, you like the panel that we went to? Do you think they did a good job setting up the um, panel? Yeah, it, it was actually really good. Um, sitting way in the back wasn't the best thing. Um, but when mm -hmm. I actually got up to, you know, the fronter, then I could actually hear and see what they were saying. Um, it, it, it was pretty interesting. They were, they were talking about, like, all kinds of things, like, um, like, uh, people would ask, like, random questions. Oh my god, that one guy. You're, 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 you're a pretty good-looking guy. How, how does, you know, someone like me <laughs> become, become as nice as you? And I think he was doing that just, I mean, when you go to cons like this, it's like, it's just for giggles. Like, they're just oh, asking these yeah. out of fun. And it, it was fun, too, because he actually confessed some funny things, and it, so it was worthwhile. No. <laughs> And Apparently, then, women's well, deodorant is much better than men's deodorant. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's sad. You would know. <laughs> hey, man, you either get like manly man man sex. Yeah, I'm, or, like, I know. I'm pomegranate. <laughs> I'm playing, boy. I'm pretty sure you're trying to get away from the manly man yeah. set when you're putting on deodorant. <laughs> how does how does the smell of dirt and football and sports smell like? Man. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, manly men, men is hard. <laughs> men is hard. Yeah, the, the panel was pretty good, and then there was the Smash Brothers thing. <laughs> yeah. That was oh awesome. yeah, and and uh, uh, yeah. one of the one of the people at the panel, like, he had to go use the restroom, so he purposely died over and over again. Oh, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> now I get to go to the bathroom. See y'all <laughs> later. <laughs> uh, that was funny, actually. But, um. So yeah, uh, eroding. Well, for the ten minutes we were there, I think we got to see like two minutes of like the actual panel, and then like eight minutes of questions, and then however long the. And then they had like some video at the end. Oh yeah, that was right. pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the the questions were all either enlightening or entertaining. Um, from what I saw on the panel, it was interesting. Uh. The accommodations were excellent. The room was very well soundproofed. Didn't hear any of the uh, outside noise. That's really all I have to say. Okay, and I guess now it's final thoughts. Uh, overall, the show was, at, at least as far as conceptual-wise, this is the first time that I think the show has gotten to the point where I didn't have any major faults with it. The temperature problem, gone. Um, I think the only problem I might have, which is a bit minor, is uh, that I felt like it was almost too spatial, like there was almost too much empty space, um, because like there would be a gigantic gap between one stand and the other stand, and when I'm trying to rush to get to a game, like to find one, I had to constantly run from one side of the, <laughs> the, the room to the other, so. Um, but that's the only thing. Uh, they were really well organized. Um, they opened the doors pretty much on time, maybe like a minute late. Eh. Um, they, the, most of the retailers did a pretty good job setting up. There was one or two that were, like, last minute rushing to get something done. Um, but, and the show, the panels were put together well. Um, overall, though, uh, be, my personal experience, I didn't find it as fun as last year's, mostly because I didn't end up finding some of the things I really wanted to get. Um, and also just some some of the spectacle spectacle of it is like gone because I've been to it now for three years um, 
but yeah, overall, it's, overall, like, my grade is, like, probably a 9. Um, it's because everything was put together well, but my actual experience itself wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Anyway. Alright, so I had a fun time. That was great. Wasted a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Was it really a waste? Let's find out. <laughs> How much money <laughs> How much money was it? I, that's, uh, that's not. I don't think we need to disclose how much. A lot. Spent. It was <laughs> I, very. A it, lot. It, was, it was. Enough. It was a good enough money. It was a. It was enough for games. Yeah. It was enough for. It games. was enough for like the entire area. <laughs> so. I don't think uh, we need to. It was thirty thousand. Guys, guys, <laughs> guys! I don't think we need to. I don't think One million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's how much you brought. I, paid, I bought everything. You bought, bought, bought the whole show. Yeah, I did. Oh yeah. So, based on what you guys have said like last time, I I was like, the crowds are gonna be terrible. They were terrible last year, yeah. but that was because yeah. the space was so small. I mean, I was just thinking that I was gonna have trouble filming. Like, people were gonna shove me around. But then when I got there, I was like, oh, it's so <laughs> open. I was like, I go run around, <laughs> just filming everything I see. Which is about like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I felt like, and then I got overwhelmed. So I didn't really get that much footage. But another thing for that is because I didn't really have very much battery. They didn't last that, that long. I mean, I had more memory, but I didn't have very much battery life. But yeah. That's but your I problem had, so had Another problem arises. Alright. Um, well, I, I can't really complain about too much. Because it, I mean, it really wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, there there were there was a lot of people, which is to be expected, because it was in a new area. Um, it wasn't just like you know one giant room. There were actually like different sections, which it, it was really annoying when it was like one giant room, because like you know, eroding sunset, you could hear everything. Um, the the music was um, pretty good. There, there was, there was like a lot of dubstep. There was well, they had a good DJ. I think they selected a lot of music that I actually like, which is hilarious because I, whenever I go to anything, they always have like. Oh, me and Cheese um, dance to uh. Oh, yeah. Shake the brick <laughs> house. Cheese <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just let it all hang out. out. <laughs> And I was Captain Haddock at the time, too. I did, just you guys dancing. did record a little bit of you guys dancing, so I kept that. <laughs> I mean, just, just, just try to... No, just, no! <laughs> Forever the end of the show, you know, you know as the dance was. Yeah. Oh, was? Yeah. You kept that in? Yeah. Oh. I need to, I'm kind of running low on footage. <laughs> I'm no, surprised you guys weren't like, Gangnam Style, oh, 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 They oh, did oh. play that, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. they did. <laughs> Turn that smile upside down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, CJ or uh, LPVB, you were you were finishing your thoughts. Um, my thoughts are finished because okay. I have none. Good. Well, what was your grade? Um, probably around ten eight. out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was yours? Uh, cheese. Nine. Nine. He says nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, 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 uh, <laughs> it was really fun. I wish awesome, I brought awesome some. Beats Dr. Machino's butt. <laughs> Best game. Uh, I wish I brought some more money. That was, <laughs> yeah. That's really the only complaint. Damn you, <laughs> Retro Expo. Um, but yeah, I would definitely go to it again next year. Uh, great, I would give this uh, awesome out of Christopher Walken. <laughs> awesome that seems like a fair assessment right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 8 out of 5? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I will mention before we end that uh, they didn't just have retailers like video game retailers. They had a lot of interesting other people that they didn't actually have at the last show. They had, they had a lot more people who were selling merchandise like buttons, which we ended up buying a lot of. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we buy a lot man. of buttons. Um, and then, that was a 50-minute escapade in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It sounds like Cheese wants to mention yeah. something on that. Well, yeah, I'm not too proud of this, but I spent $50 worth of those buttons. <laughs> that means I you bought that. enough to last you like a lifetime. almost two months. Oh, two months. <laughs> you know, a button a day. Okay, you're right. I'm wearing a button a day. Right now, I'm wearing my vertigo button. But you can't see it. Button yeah. a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, I don't even think the camera will pick yeah, up. Yeah, that's how it is not work. Oh, well. Anyway, um, and there were also people selling art. There was some people that were doing... There was a guy who does podcasts. Oh, and man. There was the thing. one guy who was selling the, the level... Levels of all the oh, yeah, he had giant maps. giant oh, posters yeah. of the yeah. maps. He yeah. was actually at the last year's show, yeah. and so was the wooden arcade guy who had the um, the really nice sixteen uh, bit graphic characters. Oh, like with the little tiny uh, circle beads. Yeah, like he had the mm. Tetris one and the Yoshi and the Sonic. I never got my radio one, which is sad. I should have gone and reclaimed. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, uh, now that we're done with our thoughts. Um, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching so much. See you next time, year. If you are gonna. If be it's over. It's over. <laughs> the end. He is my. <laughs>